Yeah, so PULG is a gene that encodes DNA polymerase gamma, um, and that protein um, is largely responsible for synthesis of mitochondrial DNA. So most patients with PULG mutations have a depletion of mitochondrial DNA, and as a result, um, they have mitochondrial a mitochondrial disorder, um, and they can have a number of different neurologic symptoms, including epilepsy, developmental regression, myoclonus, other movement disorders, headaches, um, almost anything neurologic you can think of actually they can probably have. This trial is motivated because right now there are no effective treatments for, for pulgy related disorders. Um, so, so these patients are mainly treated symptomatically. Um, so in this trial, um, we're treating with two deoxynucleosides deoxycytidine and deoxythymidine, um, and we give these um, either orally or um, or via like a gastrostomy tube. Um, the mechanistic hypothesis was that um, these are substrates um, uh, earlier on in the pathway of, of um, mitochondrial DNA synthesis, and that we if we provided more substrates, we could maybe push the whole pathway towards production of more mitochondrial DNA and that that might have clinical benefit. Um, so in this trial, it's an open label trial. Um, so patients, um, patients receive it divided into three doses per day. And um, we first wanted to assess safety. So they're seen uh, on a monthly basis um, in the early stages of the trial. And we follow them with blood work, um, some urine tests, EEGs, and clinic visits um, just to make sure that they're they're staying uh, medically stable. Um, and then, in terms of assessing efficacy, our two we have two primary outcome measures. Um, the first one is the um, something called the Newcastle mitochondrial disease severity scale. Um, this is a validated tool that um, basically evaluates um, the clinical impact mitochondrial disease is having. Um, and then we also have a biochemical um, outcome measure, uh, a biomarker called um, growth differentiation factor 15, which is supposed to be kind of a biomarker of mitochondrial health. So, so far, um, our results have actually been, well, to us, pretty exciting. Um, most importantly, the, the treatment seems safe. We haven't observed any significant adverse events that are, have been attributed to the therapy. Um, we had a couple patients have some mild diarrhea that, that was spontaneously resolved. Um, that's really been it. Um, and then in terms of clinical benefit, um, we have... And so we so far have six month uh, data for eight, pa eight patients at the six month time point. Um, and we've seen a statistically significant improvement in the Newcastle score. Um, and as well, a number of patients um, we've, who had abnormal GDF 15 at baseline, we've seen um, that biomarker come uh, back to within the normal range. So, um, I think given that there are no no effective treatments for pulgy related disorders, um, this really has um, some pretty exciting potential to um, to improve uh, sort of medical status and quality of life for these patients.